The adventurer Sir David Hempelman Adams has called on politicians to stop stalling and to keep their promises to slow climate change. It's after he witnessed the impact of global warming during an expedition to the Arctic. The journey via the northeast and northwest passages traditionally takes three years to complete, but his team managed it in just four months and one day. Rebecca Williams reports. Because of the ice uh, retreat, we're going to try and get right up into uh, alert up into the Smith Sound. He's completed more than 30 Arctic expeditions and has just been knighted by the Queen. But adventurer David Hembleman Adams has today spoken out about the impact of global warming, something he says he's witnessed firsthand. There'll be uh, just pure ocean at the North Pole in a few years' time. And uh, I actually believe that. I've seen that change, and I think it will be that radically different. And it's only then, I think, that politicians, once, once we get continuous flooding, continuous storms, uh, that we're spending billions of pounds on repairs, that politicians will actually wake up. Last year, David completed a four-month expedition around the Arctic on this yacht, a journey that would traditionally take around three years. But as these drone pictures show, there's been a significant loss of ice. The Northwest Passage, we did that in literally 14 days. And we were a sailing boat. If you had a speedboat, you could probably do it in a few days. We didn't see any ice whatsoever. I mean, we didn't even find enough ice for a gin and tonic. It was very, very scary. The impact of global warming has in recent years been very well documented, with the British government playing its part to try and reduce greenhouse gases. But Britain can't work alone, and there are now concerns about President-elect Donald Trump's views on the subject. We're going to cancel the Paris Climate Agreement and stop all payments of the United States tax dollars to UN global warming programs. He's even chosen Scott Pruitt to head the Environmental Protection Agency, who criticized President Obama's climate change policies. I think... Uh Mr. Trump is going to discover that he's no longer on a reality TV show and he's going to run head on into the reality of climate change and he's going to have to accommodate the facts, not the other way around. There's no doubt that he's very sceptical, he's appointed a very sceptical cabinet, but they're still going to actually have to deal with the problem. ICE has declined by more than 30% over the last 25 years. And there are now concerns about the impact that's having on animals like the polar bear. Sir David's warning action must be taken now, before we all start witnessing greater flooding and famine around the world. Rebecca Williams, Sky News.